Yeah, I mean, well, when it comes to classic rock, there's just this magic about it that has made it able to sustain itself throughout the years. I mean, you're talking about these bands like the Beatles and the Animals and bands like that. I mean, even the Beatles, people still say is possibly the greatest band to ever exist. And that was back in the 60s, you know, and the 60s is quite some time ago, but yet they still are relevant today. And, and I don't know what it is about that music that makes it that way. Maybe there was just like, there was more meaning to it or they they just they cared about it more yeah, back uh, then i guess you know yeah a lot of the their songs has stories involved in it and uh relatable stories and most of the time nowadays music is over about heartbreak and breakups and it's the same stuff and it's just the same stuff over and over again and the Beatles related to everything, and they sung positive music and just happy music that yeah. everyone could dance to and enjoy, old folks, young folks. I don't know anyone who doesn't like the Beatles. <laughs> it, is, it is true. Clyde, whenever you're uh, working with these uh, the younger people, is that something that you try to do in your classes, kind of like turn them on to the older styles of music? I always told Zoe, I said, Zoe... This new stuff, and it had nothing wrong with it. Don't get me wrong, but I said, the, you know, the, the and I told her. Of course, she was all her dad and mom was already letting her listen to it. But the older stuff, you know, like Marshall Tucker, like uh, the Doobie Brothers. Uh, Love the Doobie yeah. Brothers. Yeah, I do too. And you know, and uh, Steely Dan. Yeah. You know, Love Fleetwood Dan. Mac. Uh, you know, she even does. Uh, you know, do we do a Skinner song? Uh, I don't know, but we, I think we have. Sometimes. Yeah, we have before. Yeah. Stuff like that, you know. Yeah. Uh, and I let them pick out what they want to sing, because if they're not comfortable with it, they won't sing it. I mean, we're not going to do an, an aria if they're wanting to do country. It ain't going to happen. I mean, you yeah. know, or if they want to do classic rock. So if, if they pick out what they want to do, and then we can critique it and say, you know, well, maybe that don't suit your voice. Maybe you need to try something else, mm -hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Didn't have a problem with Zoe. I mean, when she wrote these songs, uh, she wrote the songs, and we come put them together on music. And only thing I only thing I ever did was say maybe we need to do a little different chord change in here, yeah, to make it flow a little better. But it was very minute. 